I'm Soleil. I'm going to show you how to style your curly Bibonia extensions. Today I'm going to show you two different ways that you can style your curly set to achieve different results. On the left we styled them using our wand method and on the right we used a Denman brush. Let's get into it. First off, we will start off with washing the hair extension set. This is our Bobonia Curly Chestnut 220 gram 22 inch extensions. Wet your set with lukewarm water until it's completely saturated. Gently apply the shampoo. Rinse the shampoo. Apply conditioner by raking it with your fingers from the top down to the ends. Use a wide tooth comb or a paddle detangling brush to detangle the extensions. Make sure to start from the bottom and work your way up. Rinse the conditioner with cold water. As mentioned, there are different ways of styling your curly hair extensions, depending on the look that you're trying to achieve. In method number one, we are going to add product, brush with a Denman brush for added definition, scrunch and dry. Add a small amount of curl cream to each weft, then add gel. We are using about a quarter size lightweight defining cream. Break the product through the hair from top to bottom. After you've added the cream, you will then add a medium hold gel to the damp hair extension set. Note, you don't want to towel dry the set first, as this will remove the moisture. Use a Denman brush to further distribute the product and for added definition. Rake and scrunch. Repeat this process on every individual weft. Take the full set in one hand and scrunch with the other. Then place it on a flat surface to dry. Diffuse if you would like to speed the drying process or lay each individual weft on a flat surface to air dry. This is what the results look like. If you would like your curly hair extensions to have a more defined corkscrew-like curl, you can try using our wand method. Lay the wet set of Bobonia curly extensions on a flat surface. Use a small makeup brush or pencil the same diameter as your curls. Apply a lightweight hydrating cream by raking it through the hair, then brushing it with a Denman brush. Use about a quarter size amount of Stronghold gel and rake it through the hair. Take small sections of hair and wrap it tightly around the makeup brush or pencil. Make sure that you are wrapping the hair flat as you go. You want it to overlap and create a barrel. Smooth the ends in, then slide off. Do not twist the hair. If you notice that the barrel is not staying tightly, it may be because the hair is not wet enough. Take a spray bottle and re-wet the hair. You'll repeat this process through every weft. You can also add gel to the small sections of hair. Once you get the hang of this process, it will become quick and easy. For faster results, dry with a diffuser. You can hover over the hair extension set with the dryer, or if you don't feel like holding it, you can prop the diffuser up next to the set, pointing it to the direction of the hair. Please do not leave the dryer unattended. Wait until the hair is fully dry before moving it. Now that it is dry, you'll notice that the curls are very defined and that there is shrinkage. Use a spray bottle to spray water on the set to elongate the curls and give them a more natural look. Break your fingers through the hair. You can even take this time to separate the curls. And here are the final results. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe. I really hope that this video was helpful. But if you do have any more questions, feel free to send us a DM or an email. Thank you.